Chapter 4, Multiplication. In this section, we will be asked to multiply fractions. In your assignment, they will give you problems like this. We need to multiply this. And how are we going to do this? We have to get every single number and write it as a product of prime numbers. What does it mean? We need to get a 36 and break it down. 36 is what? 6 times 6. 6 is 3 times 2. This 6 is another 3 times 2. So instead of writing 36, we're going to write all of this. So let's rewrite this here. So that will be 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 over 45. But instead of writing 45, we need to write it as a product of prime numbers. So Let's get the 45 and break it down. 45 is 5 times 9. And 5 is just 5. This 9 can be breaking down as a 3 times 3. Therefore, instead of writing 45, we're going to write 5 times 3 times 3. Same idea with the 9. So instead of writing 9, we're going to write as a 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 here. And 16, same idea. 16 will be a 4 times 4. And this 4 can be written as a 2 times 2. And this other 4, 2 times 2. So 16 is all of this. So it will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now this is a fun part when we get to simplify. Numbers that match one in the numerator and one in the denominator can be simplified. One in the top and one in the bottom. Okay? Not on the side, not like this. It has to be one here and one here. Now, let's start looking for the number. Let's see. Um, there is a three here and there is a three here. Okay. Now there is another three here and there is another three here. What else? Um, there is a two. But there is not two on top of here. But yes, as long as there is one. In the, denominator and one in the numerator, one in the bottom or one in the top, you can cancel out. For example, these two is in the bottom and these two is on top. You can cancel them out. So here's a two and here is a two. What else? Seems like nothing else. So what are we left here? We don't say we're left with zero. Well we actually say we're left with one because three into three goes once and that's what Whenever we don't have anything left, we say we're left with 1. So here we're left with 1 over 5 times 3 times 3 will be 9 over 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, we try to multiply 1 times 9 is 9 and 5 times 4 is 20. So when it comes to fractions, we multiply a straight. Okay, but before multiplying a straight across, we must be check if we can simplify them. So our job will get done easily.